Okay guys, so this is one of our helpful how-tos um, for people that may be a bit new to PC building, want to upgrade their PC. This is going to be how to upgrade your graphics card. This video is in conjunction with uh, jcpccustoms.com, purveyors of fine gaming PCs, so go and check them out. But we're not going to go for an extended ad spot because we want to keep this snappy. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do is unplug the HDMI or display port or whatever other display connection that you have in the rear of your PC. Then you want to switch your power supply to the off position and remove the power plug. Next thing you want to do is take the um, side panel off your PC. So this might be made of glass or it could, it could be another material. So just remove that carefully and store the glass somewhere safe. Next step is to remove the power plugs from your graphics card if it has some. So what you need to do is um, look at where the little notched part is on the top, a little lever. You want to push down on the lever and pull out. So you want to wiggle it slowly side to side whilst you're pulling. Don't try and yank it with pure force. Now we want to move over to the left where the screws um, which hold your graphics card in place are located. You want to take your Phillips head screwdriver or your crosshead screwdriver and just um, undo both of those screws so that you can loosen up the graphics card from the case itself. Now that the screws have been removed, what you need to do is push back the retaining clip on the PCIe slot. So you just push that one basically away from you to open it up. And then you just want to gently wiggle the graphics card out again. Just be nice and gentle. Don't have to force it. Take your time. So now your graphics card has been removed, ready for the new one to go in place. So to install it, all you need to do is line the graphics card up with the slot. So on the graphics card there is sort of a little gold strip and you want to make sure that strip goes into the top PCIe long slot on your motherboard. Push it in until you hear a nice click. You don't have to pull that retention plastic bit back like we had to push it away before because it will automatically click in. Then what you want to do is um, refix the screws on the side um, where you're retaining the graphics card. We took these out earlier, so we want to put them back in. When you're doing this, have a look at the back of the PC to make sure all of the HDMI and DisplayPort slots are actually available to you to plug in, because sometimes if you fix it, you might cut those off. What you want to do now is get your power cable, your PCIe power cable from your power supply, and you want to plug that in. So if yours comes with a little, um, like a two piece, so it's a six plus two, like most of them are, you want to make sure those are nicely clamped together. And then you want to put it inside the power connector. You want to always line up the, the little notched bit on the power cable with the notched bit on the graphics card power, power socket. So on some graphics cards, this will be facing up and some of it facing down. So just make sure you're matching the notch to the notch and then you'll be absolutely fine. You want to plug in you know, as many as you can. So if your graphics card has one power slot, just plug in one cable. If your um, graphics card has three, you need to make sure you're plugging in three connectors. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. It's also good practice um, if you don't use the daisy chained one that's on it. So lots of power supply cables come with one eight pin power and then another one coming off it like a daisy chain. In my opinion, you should try to use separate cables for every power um, for every power socket on the graphics card. So say yours had two power sockets instead of the one that you see in the video. Rather than use one cable and then the one that's attached to it, what you need to do is take two cables from your power supply and put one from each um, each cable into the into the graphics card. I find that this incre increases the longevity of the system. It balances the load over the different components of the cabling and the power supplies and overall leads to a better experience. But it's not something you have to do. It's just something that I've noticed from experience. So now you've got your graphics card installed, boot up your computer and hopefully you've got a picture. What you also need to do with installing a new graphics card is do a clean install of your graphics driver. I'm not going to cover that in this video because I've already got a video about it. So there'll be a link in the description and perhaps a card on the top of the video and that should help you out. Hopefully that was a nice, helpful, quick video for you so you can upgrade your gaming PC. Arrivederci!